Okay, let me just push the chair back. Okay. What is up, Amalette? It's me, Amma Jane with Amma Jane TV, and we're here today to do a reaction on Eric Nam. And before we do, I actually got something from Amazon, and I want to share this for people who who lacks in iron and vitamins and protein and calcium should get one of this. So this is actually called the Moringa. I actually got this. Uh, I think it was recommended by a friend of my mom. Uh, my mom got one, got one herself. And because I'm here, I knew that I was going to need one myself because I do like in iron and in calcium, especially in the proteins. So this one, I'm going to start um, start taking tomorrow morning. So apparently, this has got so much. It's really strong. Apparently this has how much? Oh, this is how much it has. It's 100% organic, and it's 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 nothing but plants. It's very plant based. Um, vegans could try this as well, actually. If you're vegan and you don't want to try anything, yes, it's just say it's it's raw, it's paleo, and it's vegan. So this is very very useful for vegans. So if you're vegan, give it a try. Uh, before you know it, it says here uh, how to use it. I do know it has green spinachy flavour. So you start off with a, a tea, half a teaspoon per day, building up to one or two, one to two to four teaspoons. Blend into smoothies, juice, and whatever. Celery seasons. Oh, okay. So it's good for everything. So it's it's very good for balance, very diet and healthy lifestyle. So guys, before you do, it does says here, if you're pregnant or have or are still on medication, please consult your doctor because my mum was telling me that it's, it's really strong. So so it does do some good stuff that is rich, it's rich in iron and it reduces tiredness and fatigue, which my mum doesn't need it. I need it myself because, again, my iron levels is really bad. I have terrible so this is like the replacement of the sea sea um water that i was drinking last year if you don't know yes if you remember on my videos there was a box behind here on the section on my previous room yes that was the sea salt water i was drinking that for a while and it was really good but still um, yeah so yes before you do um go consult a doctor and explain about and ask if it if it's if it's um useful to use or to take moringa. They have it in powder like this one. They also have it in like um pills. So but if you before you purchase them, go and consult your doctor first so they can tell you because they most likely say yes or no or yeah you should take it. So with with that being said, with that out of the way, it's not sponsored by the way, I just sh like I just sh I just wanted to share what I got. I actually got two because I need, I need, my sister need it because I saw what it has and I'm like, this is the one I've been searching for for years. So apparently this will give you like doo doo diarrhea first time round. So if your stomach's like a washing, washing machine, you go to the toilet immediately. Don't think about it twice. So, okay, so with that out of the way, we are going to do Eric Nam. Uh, he released, um, Paradise, yes, again, I know. I knew they were there, it's just the playlist. Hiatus, I was on hiatus, okay. <laughs> Spare me, please. <laughs> so there's a, there's a lot of videos that I had to react to. There's a lot of them. I, I never imagined I was gonna do this much. So we're going to do um, Paradise by Eric Nam in three, two, one, go, go, let me check the volume, holy crap. It's super loud. There we go. So you can hear me and what I've got to say. Oh, there's an Apple Mac. Oh, childhood. Not the 80s, but the 90s as well. The 90s, we used to have this for playing games. That's what, we, that's what it was used for originally. Oh, everyone's got... There's a bunch of Eric Nams using the Apple Mac. He's so cute. Oh, there's an old TVs. I didn't have the chance to have those TVs, by the way. Oh, it was a component. So he ordered one. It's just like, like this. <laughs> it's great. He's so 
such an amazing artist. Eric Nam is an overall entertainer. He sings. He looks good with with that glasses. He's a he was a host on After School Club. Oh my God, there's two of them. He's so handsome in that suit. And he's overall a funny guy. I still can't get over when he said to Amber, when he asked Amber if Jack Jack can does your dog speak Chinese? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I swear, he's <laughs> he's so, he's so legendary. This song is actually really good. He barely wears the glasses now. Did he? Did he actually? Well, I know he might wear either. He got contacts or he got operation on his eyes. Woo! Sorry, because he would wear his glasses on, like when he was a host. Um, oh, so that technology is a good thing, but it's also bad. Oh, that looks so pretty. That shot looks really good. They've got good shots in here. He really looks good. He looks so good. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of Eric Nams there in the cinema. Oh look, the social distancing. The hell? Did you see the... <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even two meters, it's like over three meters, mate. Like ten meters away from each other. A proper 100% social distancing. England has a lot to learn, to be honest, with social distancing. Because it's... Well, it is a little better than in most countries. Is that in French? Vista V? What's Vista V? Again, I can't speak French though. I know it's in something in French, but yeah. So that was Eric Nam Paradise. Very interesting. So it was a control control remote that controls his life called Paradise. So and you, you you know it's funny, that's how people are living these days. Like, oh actually no, not these days like doing quarantine or um, COVID-19 with all that going on with the pandemic it's more like, like more like last year like last year everyone wanted this everyone wanted that and it's it's like a brainwash if I make make sense so it's it's kind of touching so we were talking uh, in my lessons we were talking about I want to say my students that would be weird at the lesson today we were don't talking about uh, mental health which is so rare to talk about, especially in uni. I never, last year I didn't, we didn't get these classes. This year was, it's called dance science. So they talk about mental health, where to find happiness. And this was like, talking about that. It's like, but in a form of a remote control, like it's not even happiness. It's like the dis distraction just to make you stress. Wow. It's very interesting. I really like the take on it. That's how I, I took it. I took it that, I, I, oh, there's a comment here, wait, another underrated K-pop artist, people need to stop sleeping on all these talented soloists, thank you. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm going to touch on that one in a second, um, yeah, so it's, it's, that's why I feel that's what it is, that people want things to be happy, but then it, they just end up feeling controlled instead of finding your own path, finding your own happiness. So that's what I took this from. That's what I got this from. Like, no, it's not what I want to say. It's so annoying. That's what I understood from this music video. Just by that little remote control. It's just like the government wants to control. And now it's like even worse because we can't do things and restriction here, restriction there. So I imagine this 
remote control paradise is like that. It's like the remote control that will control your life for life. And it's scary. And it's <laughs> when you think of it, it's scary just to think about how how much everything's gonna be so controlled, so restricted. It's not gonna there's no such thing as America being the land of the free, and there's no such thing as free countries. No, it's nothing is free. There's always a there's always a price to pay. Whatever you do, whatever you buy, it's always a price to pay. You have to pay like a heavy price just to just to just to get them. And when you get them, it's not what you expected, and it's like controlled, controlling you. So with that being said, I give it a ten out of ten, and I want to touch this on what this person just said. I actually absolutely agree what she just this person said. I can't. I don't even know the sex of this person. This could be an animal, <laughs> for all for all I know. But this person just stated facts that, unfortunately. K-pop is not so meant to be sleeping, but unfortunately sleeping on artists. But it seemed like all we know, or well, not all I know, because I already knew. I already knew Eric now way before. Even he was an artist and doing. I just said he was a host for <laughs> for the after school clubs. He's funny. He's so talented. Again, he said to Amber, "Does your dog speak Chinese?" <laughs> I mean, dude. You should not be sleeping on legend guys like him. He is a funny guy. I mean, anyways, uh, uh, before I go off topic, yes, this person is right because we tend to go for BTS, Blackpink, and Twice, and that's all you know. And you just you just focus on those groups, but you forget there's so many groups, so many solo artists in K-pop that you just not focus on them. Like they're so talented. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Where are you? So, guys, do not sleep on artists. Do not sleep on groups that are out there that are amazing. Now, I mean, I have witnessed so many amazing groups throughout the years that I've been into K-pop, and I've seen them disband. Really, really, really upsets me. It's like, dude, no, this shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. And some of them just leave. Like some of the members just leave. Like out of the blue and it's like it's very frustrating like it's all because they're getting slept on and I'm like they're so talented why why are they disbanding why are they leaving ah oh. so okay guys so that's all I want to say please do not sleep on these artists for the love of God they're so amazing again it's more than just a couple of SM entertainment it's there's so much more outside from SM, Big Hit, JYP and YG I, I promise you, you will not regret. Once you start getting to, to investigate, to look at more groups, then you will understand where I'm coming from. Never sleep on artists like, you know, other other than those four companies. <sighs> Woo! Okay, that's done. I love you all. I knew on everyone, and said I'm here.